Hey guys, welcome back to yet another thrift haul. I don't know what's wrong with me. Just sickness. Anyways, I did a lot of thrifting and I actually also did um, a trade at one of my favorite buy sell trade stores um, where I live and that's kind of why I've accumulated a bunch of stuff as well. So I wanted to share it all in here as well and these really cool glasses. So let's dive in. All right, so I'll just start off with all the accessories and little knickknacks that I got. First thing I got were a couple pairs of glasses. Um, these being one of them, I freaking love them. I think they're super cool. They are prescription, so wow. <laughs> Blind is a bat here, but they're super rad. So I got these kind of aviator ones. And then um, these are all kind of like the same style these guys here but they're different colors so this is like a pink and white one this one is like grayish gold and they each have like different um well these two are the same but then there's this one these pink ones which are super cool yeah i just really like these and my goal is to one i do need um a light prescription in glasses for like the computer and like if I'm reading or driving at night is probably the one I need the most. Um, so I was gonna get some prescription lenses in here, lenses in here that um, are my prescription, and then try to find a place that could possibly turn these into sunglasses. So I found a couple places online, but they are a bit of an arm and a leg. So still hunting. If anyone knows of anything, let me know because I would love to know. Next, I got. I don't know why my voice is so weird. <sighs> Next, let me scoot closer. Okay. Next, I found these really cool records. They're pretty trashed, so um, I just thought they'd be really cool as like decor. And this is the Steve Miller Band um, record. And you can tell like up here, it's just got, it's just thrashed. But I still like the Pegasus in the middle. I think it still is in great condition. So I might melt these down, make some bowl, decorative bowls or like hang them on the wall. Um, so there's that one. I also found Heart, the Mushroom EP. Um, these were apparently pressed in Canada. This is like a Canadian label, the Mushroom one. Um, and I just think it's super cool. So I might like put it on the wall um, or melt it down into a bowl again. These ones, I have no idea what these records are, but I really liked the artwork um, on the outside. So I'll probably use them as just like decor, but this one is like a disco one. It's super cool. Literally called Super Hits. Um, some pretty good ones on here, actually. Yeah. See the list. But yeah, I really, I just like this artwork and I like how bright and colorful it is. And then, come on, it's disco. I love disco. And then this one's really cool. This kind of reminded me of like a Peter Max drawing. Original Memphis rock and roll. So that's exciting. Some good stuff on here as well. But yeah, we'll probably most likely use this as decor. Maybe listen to it. Um, I also really like that. That is really sick. So that's what I found there. These were two for a dollar. So can't beat that. Alrighty, and then I got some purses. Um, so let me drag them over here. So the first purse that I got is this really cute handmade quilted one. I really liked these handles. This is only $3 and it's super cute. Like someone handmade that. So I just couldn't pass that up. And for $3, I thought, what a steal. And I just think it's super cute wear and rock um the next one that i found is like kind of my dream purse it's really small but i figured it would be super cute like if i wanted to take just like very minimal things with me but it's this little hand tooled hand painted leather hippie purse she's perfect i love the strap because she so she hangs a little lower um 
and it's in like perfect condition. Looks like there is a name stamped in there, but I can't really read it, but yeah, it's so cute. My phone unfortunately doesn't fit because I do have the iPhone X, but maybe it's one of those things where I just leave my phone at home, take a couple things and be one with nature. So I'm excited about that. And then this one, pardon me. Okay, I have been on the hunt for one of these bags for freaking ever, like since I can remember, and I found one. And, and she's vintage. I saw the tag on the inside and it is a vintage tag. Um, it's hard to read because it's like down deep in the bottom. And I can tell just by like the zipper and everything, but whoever owned this probably never used it and had it just like hiding out. There's a couple um, wear and tear spots that are very minor. There's like a scratch that goes across here. You can't even tell on camera, but she's perfection. I died when I saw this, snatched it up first thing. And I was like, no matter what, like I'm buying this. Like I could, I don't care. Like this, she's coming home with me. So I'm very happy that I found this. Anyways. And this is one of the things that I got at the um, buy sell trade store. So I brought in a bunch of old clothes of mine and just traded it right up. So technically I got this for free. So that's a steal. And then this tooled leather purse is also something that I got from the trade store as well. So this next little grouping of clothes is what I got from the buy sell trade. I highly, highly recommend doing that. If you have one of those thrift stores or vintage shops near you, take your stuff and um, go in. You never know what they're gonna take or what they're not gonna take. Um, they took quite a bit of things from me. Uh, so I was able to get a really awesome things in return. So I'm gonna show you that right now. All righty. So the first thing that I got from the buy sell trade store was this really cool Beatles shirt. It's not vintage, but it's like super thin, lightweight. I absolutely love it. And it says Lucy in the sky with diamonds. And it's such a cool print. I wonder if I can bring it closer so you can see it. It's just like such a cool print and it's such a comfortable shirt. It's so easy to throw on with jeans. Um, it's probably one of my all-time favorites right now. Okay, these next pants I actually got from an online shop. Um, I wanted to give them a shout out because she went above and beyond for me. Her name is Erin and she owns Last Chance Vintage Co. I can link her Instagram below. Um, she's awesome. I have been on such a journey. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I put on a little weight um, in the past two years. So unfortunately, none of my super cool vintage pants that I have fit me really well anymore. They're all really tight. So I didn't get rid of them. I just boxed them up and put them away so they're not in my face reminding me. And I've just been on the hunt for pants that fit me comfortably. And sadly with vintage, um, it's really hard to find bigger sizes. Like it's damn near impossible, but they are out there. So I say if you are a bigger size, and you are about to give up on vintage don't there are people out there who have larger sizes stay hopeful and in the meantime just buy some pants here and there that's what i did um, and then i had a couple people reach out to me on instagram and tell me about erin and her shop um last chance vintage co and she was like i have these awesome pants they're totally your size they are absolutely adorable too look at this freaking pocket design they're so cute they're high, high, high-waisted. I love it though. They go almost up to my boobs, which I'm so okay with. I love that. They fit me like a glove. They're like perfect. And they're really long bell, um, bell bottom jeans. And I love it. My husband calls these pockets apple pie pockets, which is super cute. I absolutely love them. I will be living in these. Thank you so much, Erin. Freaking love you, girl. All right. So... The next thing I got from the buy sell trade shop was this super cute little poncho shirt. And at first I thought it was, you wear it, kind of just slap it over and it's just like open like poncho, but no, it's super cute. It zips up the back. It's a high neck. 
and it has actual sleeves. So it has like some fit to it, some shape. You'll see when I try it on. It is so cute. I love this color palette. There's a little bit of wear and tear in here, a little discoloration, but I think when I soak it, it'll come right out. Do a little hand washing. Love, love, love that. The next one is this really cool abstract shirt. It's long sleeve, it's a mock neck. Um, it's got really long sleeves. This material, I will say, does not breathe whatsoever. So it's gonna be the perfect winter shirt. One of those shirts that you don't really have to wear with a jacket because it will insulate you to no end. Um, I Every time I put this on, I'm like immediately, I'm a thousand degrees. <laughs> so, this is just one of my favorite finds, and I love this pattern. It reminds me of Peter Max. It's super cool. Um, I wanted to find a purple suede skirt to wear with this because I just think that will be adorable. So again, with the sizing, I couldn't find one my size. So I'm actually going to be making a faux suede vintage style sh uh, skirt to wear with this. Um, I have all that information up on my Instagram. So I definitely say check that out if you can. Follow along with me on that process because it's gonna be really fun. This shirt is so cute. So it's a really long shirt. It's too short to be a mini and too long to just rock with pants. Um, so I actually am in the process of making a pair of little white hot shorts to go underneath and this gives me the cutest flight attendant vibes I've ever, ever seen. I absolutely love it. It fits so well and the way that it's tailored and the material that it is, it's like a thicker rayon blend. Like it just gives you such a nice shape and I really, really love it. Rock it with my go-go boots and my Pan Am bag and just really, just really go into that flight attendant vibe. Cause I mean, if you're gonna do it, then go all out. That's what I say. This next piece that I found is super cool and a little crazy. Um, it's this really awesome brown jumpsuit. It's just very simple. It zips up the front and it's got a little collar uh, and it has bell bottom pants and they're cropped um, a little bit. So it's kind of gives me like 60s vibes. It's super cool. But what's the most interesting about this jumpsuit is that it says here, this tag, it says Disney pictures and TV, and this is like ironed into the garment. So basically what the girl at the store told me was, because we were both fascinated by the tag, she had looked into it. Um, basically this piece was in the Disney Studios costume department, just hanging out, and it has been used on TV, in commercials, Someone in the background could have rocked this. Cause when I saw it and I saw the tag, I was like, what character is this? Like, is this a costume? I didn't, I didn't know. And I didn't look too closely that it said pictures and TV. So this jumpsuit could be famous. We don't know. So I think that's super rad. I love that. And it feels vintage. It looks vintage. It could easily be something made to look vintage. Um, but I think it's really awesome. And I would love to, if anyone has ever seen that, if you're a Disney fan and you have seen that on TV or something, like, let me know. <laughs> so the last thing I got uh, from this pile at the Buy Sell Trade store was this really cute overall jumpsuit um, type of deal. It crisscrosses in the back. Uh, it's really comfortable. I do have to redo the elastic back here because it's lost its elasticity, but it fits me perfectly. It's another little cropped piece and I love this fabric. This pattern, it's so cute. And it's um, definitely polyester or polyester blend. So again, it will be perfect for the colder winter weather. Um, if I do like a fall lookbook, she'll definitely be in it with like a turtleneck or something. I think it's so cute. She is definitely going to be one of my favorites. And it's a statement piece. Like this fabric like is amazing. Alrighty. So the next couple things I got were at this um, little thrift store uh, near my work. And um, they, everything here was really inexpensive. And I love, love, love the things I found. Uh, the first thing I found was like this really pretty slip. And I'm pretty sure this is from like the 80s maybe the 90s, but what sold me was the bottom of it. It is 
stunning. And I'm pretty sure it was 50% off because um, this particular store that I went to, they always have like 50% off sales. And so this is so pretty. I do a lot of photo shoots. Um, my friend, s and Photography, I tag her a lot in her pictures. She does boudoir photography and she really wants to do um, a photo shoot with like a horse and keep it kind of hippie, light, airy. And I thought this would just be so beautiful uh, in that setting. So I really love it and it fits really well. And I really like the color of it. The next thing I got was this really cool, I'm pretty sure it's part of lingerie, but I like it as just a duster, long sleeve duster. I think it's gonna be perfect for October. Gives me Stevie Nicks witchy vibes. I'm all about that. It's not exactly floor length, but it goes down pretty far. Um, it's got a lot of flow to it and you can tie it in the center. And I really like this detailing up here. It's really cool. And this was $5, guys. So check your local thrift stores. You never, never know. Okay, this next piece is a little weird. It's kind of grandma-ish, but I really envisioned it. I can turn this into something super cool. So it is this really funky, very 80s glittery button-up with shoulder pads. <laughs> uh, those will be removed, um, but I haven't done it yet. But I thought this was super cool. I feel like I could crop it, take it in, make it a super cute tied up disco top. And I really like the sleeves. And the buttons are really cool too. They have these really cool buttons all the way down it. So I think this was $4. It was awesome. I think it's a steal. I love it. Can't wait to rock it. It's perfect fall color too, gold. We love gold. Um, I have another online shout out. So um, this particular outfit I got from the black. This particular outfit I got from the Brass Laurel Vintage. She is my home girl on Instagram. I love her. Everything she posts is amazing. She's got really cool um, house decor stuff and she was doing a flash sale on her stories and she was selling this really cool two piece little like leisure outfit. Um, it's very 60s. I actually took a picture of it and I have it on my Instagram if you wanna go check out and see what it looks like there because I'm not trying this on um, but it has just the cutest matching button up with like the little detail of the matching pants on the sleeve and the pocket and the collar it's really cool um, and it's so comfortable and it fits really well so check out my Instagram if you want to see a picture of that so the next thing I got is another Instagram shout out <laughs> Um, it's Opportunity Vintage. She's super cool. She has the coolest collection of clothes. Oh my gosh, like it, it's mind blowing. I freaking love her. Um, I've bought two things from her so far and I just, all I want all of the things. <laughs> um, but this was my absolute dream vest. I have been looking for one of these vintage Ottoman vests. I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have my voice. I think I mentioned something about it um, on like my first thrift haul video. I had gotten that vest that was kind of like a knockoff um, <clears throat> Ottoman vest, but this is the real deal. It's made in Pakistan. It's vintage. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I couldn't have asked for a better color palette. This is going to be amazing for fall. I will wear it over everything. Dresses, shirts, who knows, nothing. Um, depending on how how uh, free you're feeling but I absolutely love this it is sturdy it's good quality everything on here is perfection and I am the happiest vintage loving girl in the world <laughs> uh, next thing I got was this super cool sheepskin jacket it was $11 blew my mind it's in perfect condition I have one that is a lighter um, wash of denim and it's a lot bigger than this one. So I was really, really happy when I found the dark denim um, and I love the stitching. I thought it was, at first I thought it was gonna be like vintage um, Wrangler uh, or Maverick um, or Levi, but it's not. It's just, um, it's a weird off brand called Masterpiece Apparel. Um, the tag looks like it could be like 80s 
I don't know, 80s or late 70s, but it's super cool. It's really warm. It's gonna come in handy, especially when we move to uh, Northern California. I just really love jackets like this too. And it's fully lined in faux Sherpa. Um, and I really, really, I really love it. Alrighty, so the very last thing I got was a super cool jacket. I don't have an outfit to wear under it yet, but I'm making an outfit to wear specifically for this jacket because this jacket is epic. Let me tell you, it is this crushed velvet vintage. There's no tag in here. I'm pretty sure it was handmade maxi coat. It is stunning. I absolutely love it. It has four pockets. One up top, which I think is a faux pocket, and then um, one down here at the bottom. It's a real pocket. And then it's got this really cool, uh, looks like a belt would have gone, like weaved in and out of there, but it wasn't with it, um, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some uh, red faux suede cord and weave it in and out so I can make a little tie belt for it, which I think will look super awesome. Um, the only thing that I was on the fence about this were the buttons. I might replace all of these buttons. I'm not in love with them. To me, personally, they make the jacket look a little buccaneery, like a pirate. Um, but I think with some better buttons, maybe just solid gold or like solid uh, crushed velvet red buttons might look a little better and might make this a little bit more 60s and 70s. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is 60s and 70s jacket. They don't make crushed velvet like this anymore, um, and it is perfection. So I'm actually going to be making a black jumpsuit romper to wear under this because I feel like that will look so foxy with high, high knee black boots, and it'll just look really, really awesome. So that's all I have for you today. It was quite a bit. Um, I will link all the Instagrams that I mentioned below in the description. Check me out on Instagram as well. I'm always making things. I'm always, always thrifting. Sorry, husband. Um, and yeah, we have fun there. So thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos. I have a lot of ideas in the bank that don't just revolve around thrifting. Um, I actually want to dive into some real, real videos and I wanna start a mini series called Real Talk. Um, I did a poll about it on Instagram where we kind of just, it's going to be just like a hangout. We're going to be chatting. I'm just going to be sharing with you my personal experiences dealing with anxiety and toxic relationships and diet culture, fat shaming, that kind of stuff. So if you like that idea, if you want to be in on the ride, stay tuned because I'm going to be making those and we'll just have coffee, tea together, and if it's something that you're struggling with, I also struggle with those things too, and I just want to bring connectivity and uh, realness and just know that you're not alone. So thank you so much for watching and listening to me ramble on. Um, I'm really excited about vintage and clothing, and I'm a huge advocate for uh, going out and reusing, reducing, and recycling. So. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.